Hi and welcome to the Clever Crafting channel and thanks for joining me today. My name is Donna and today we're going to do some water colouring with a little bit of a difference. So this is actually some Tim Holtz watercolour paper that I've got. I purchased it in a, well it's not A5 sizes, it's a letter size which is 8, and a half, uh, eight by 11 and a half or something. And I cut it into fours. And you can see that I've got a whole pile of white flower die cuts. That was the die um, set that I used. And these are just out of scraps. So this is not, the die cuts are not actually out of the watercolour paper. But I'm sticking them onto watercolour paper, which is where I'm going to put the majority of my painting. The watercolour painting, if you can call it painting, really. So I'm literally just putting some of the Smart Art glue on the back of the die cuts and sticking them on this is totally random I don't have a plan I don't have a pattern I just literally stick them all on so you can see there and now I'm just going to trim off the edges that's just so I don't get them caught on anything because we are going to cut this card down before you know we're finished anyway so but just trim off all the edges so this time I'm going to use um, some Simon Hurley inks so rather than use the pads, I've got the ring inkers, so I'm just putting a tiny little um, dot down for that. These are very concentrated when you're using the ring inkers, so you don't need a great deal. And I've got a water paintbrush. I think that's what they're called, you know, where they're filled with water. I'm just squirting that through there on my rag to make sure the water's coming out. A little bit of a spray bottle. I'll have links for the things that I can down below. Of course, just, you know, like we always do. So you can see that all I did there was just spray that with some water. This technique is so simple and I just have so much fun when I'm doing it. I've ended up making six cards um, using this technique. So I haven't got all six showing. I think I've only got two on this, but you can... Um, jump on over to our Facebook group which is called Gold Coast Crafters of course not just for the Gold Coast for anyone anywhere in the world um, I will also have a link for that below so you can see some of the other examples so you can see that all I'm doing is using the water and spraying that over where I've stuck the piece of, of design the die cut and I am painting around the edge of it so when you've got water there all you need to do is just dab it and it will run along the water and you can see that where it's um, the edge of the die cut, it's quite dark because it's really being absorbed into that paper, which is great. So you do have to make sure that you've stuck them down quite well, but it doesn't even really matter if they lift a little bit because you can stick them back down once you've finished the technique anyway. So here you can see that I am just doing it again and I'm doing it around the flower with the yellow color. It's kind of like an orangey color really. And the, one of the m magic things about doing this and watercolour is that if you aren't happy with the colour or if it's gone in the wrong spot, you can literally just dab it up. You can spray it a bit more and dab it up. That's providing you use um, water reactive inks or colours. So if you don't have, you don't actually have to do this with Simon Hurley inks. You can use any dye inks if you wanted to. I've also done it with... Um, distress oxide inks they're also water reactive the other example that I'm going to show you in a minute is done with a paint palette so just something that I picked up from a two dollar shop so no not fancy paints you can do it with poster paints you can if you don't have any of these things you can literally scribble a texture onto a um, block you know like I've dropped the die onto the stamping block there you could literally scribble a texture onto um, a uh, stamping block and add a bit of water and use it so there's you can use anything so this is the paint palette that I told you about that's just a cheap and cheerful one it's got lots of colors and I love to use it I'm not doing any fancy um, watercolor work so I don't need myself personally any of the fancy watercolors and you can see that I'm doing it here now this does look like a hot mess don't get me wrong while you're painting it pretty much everyone I've done classes on this and pretty much everybody goes oh my god this looks terrible and um, you know look at that that looks a shocker but it's when it's finished and it's the completed look of it it's also just like all normal watercolors it, all the masterpieces it's not a thing that you look at up close it's a distance sort of effect so um, that's the same with this but just the technique in and of itself is an awful lot of fun 
you can see that I'm drying that you can dry the bits as they go along or you can just dry it at the end it's totally up to you so once again you can see they're nice and bright when they're uh, done like that and um, but up close they're really quite messy so the paler one is done with the um, watercolors and the brighter one is done with the Simon Hurley inks so now I'm just using one of the uh, metric rectangle dies to cut out the perfect size so I'm just being very gentle here because I want to show you if you do this when it's still a bit wet the paper's going to tear so um, just be very very careful and gentle while you're removing any uh, masking tape that you may have put on to hold the frame into place all right so now I've chosen a red color you can see to use as a mat for this and I didn't want to waste it and I also wanted to make sure that my um, greeting was out of the same color so I cut it from an area of the matte card that no one's going to see so I'm just using some of the smart art glue again of course it's just I always do an overkill with this I don't know anyway whatever I feel like you need more but you actually really don't and I'm just going to stick that on and then of course I had to clean off the desk because all the glue went through the holes in the card dear me all right so I layered up um, my greetings here and this is just a hello card so hello you and that looks pretty swish so the vellum is just a strip of vellum I think it's about four centimeters you know like an inch and a half thereabouts um, and I've just cut it wider than the piece that I needed it and so I'm just sticky taping it as you can see on the back really technical stuff but once again this is all going to be hidden and it means that you're not going to have any glue splotches on the front of the card which as we all know is very important how the front looks is far more important than the part you're not going to see all right so now we have finished the cards just got to attach them to the actual card base so I'm using some more glue to do that now on some of the later ones that I made that as I said you can see over on our Facebook group the Gold Coast crafters I put uh, foam tape between the painted piece and the matte piece so it's sitting up a little bit and that was a great effect too so I really liked uh, did doing that and I put a lot of bling on them <coughs> excuse me I put a lot of um, of the sequence so all of these come in a kit that I've got at card kit um, I'll also put a link to that below that's got everything in it that you need um, but of course you can do this with any of the stuff you've already got at home which is really important okay so here's our finished cards so they come up really nice I, I love the look of it but I think it's one of those you know art is objectives some people will love it and some people will hate it but once again it is a mantle piece um, look about it which means you need to see it from a distance it's a far better from a distance anyway thank you for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this and give this technique a try I'd love to see your creations um, which of course you can share uh, on, on the Facebook group once again um, I'd love you to subscribe and like my video and hopefully I'll see you next time thanks bye